Tea time with Troy. I be convincing myself sometimes when I get lonely that I miss my exes. So I hit them up trying to rekindle things, but then I'm reminded why they're an ex. And I have to stop doing that. What's going on, y'all? It's AO Travel. I'm back, 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 beat back with this phone out, right? Boom! And I'm back again. Today we have a tomahawk steak. Excuse me. We have a tomahawk steak. We have some grilled, but they ain't really grilled up like sauteed in the skillet. But, excuse me. Y'all know what I'm saying. And we got some, uh, I said it's very good. We got some taters. Taters, 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 taters. I'm gonna give y'all a close up first. Oh my god. Oh, I'm about to tear this up. Oh my god. I don't know what. Is this fat? I think that's fat right there. I think all of this is fat. I don't know. Oh my god. Mm. Look at that inside, y'all. Look at that inside. If it's not pink in the middle, I don't want it. But look at that nice char. Look at that sear on the outside. Ooh. The pink in the middle, yeah, yeah. I'm cutting the actual bone. There we go. Now this is a real fatty part, but I'm trying to eat around the fat. Just get into that. Mm-hmm. Ribeye is the best cut of steak, y'all, to me, because the fat is where the flavor at. I just try not to eat too much of the fat on camera because I don't want to get full of the fat. And not for me. But how's y'all day? Did I say grace? Ooh. I don't think I said grace. Amen. I don't think I said grace. Got on. Ooh. Tea time with trial. Hot. 
I'm gonna keep this bonnet on until I got all these locks combed out my head in case anybody wondering. So, some potatoes are hot as hell. But anyway. Probably well, start that soon before they start talking. Anywho, <clears throat> I find myself forcing myself to believe. How do I put it? Okay, I know how I want to put it. So, like, I be convincing myself sometimes when I get lonely that I miss my exes. So I hit them up trying to rekindle things, but then I'm reminded why they're an ex. And I have to stop doing that. Because a lot of times it ain't really that I be missing them enough to be in a relationship with them. I don't want to learn somebody new. But then I'm reminded that I have to learn them all over again because the person I did know was a person I wasn't supposed to be with. Have y'all felt yourself going through this? And if so, Try to cut a piece so I can get y'all into the, you know, into the, into the, so we get into the center of the steak now, y'all. But yeah, like, do y'all ever feel like that? Like, you be like, oh, I, I feel lonely right now. Let me hit up XYZ. And it's like, it just be a random thought, but now you find yourself believing that you still have these feelings, when in reality, you probably don't. It just, it's some type of some type of comfortability there, you know? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. So, I don't like, it gotta be pink in the middle. I'm not going to say I do it a lot, but I've definitely done it with a couple people, a couple, and it seems like stuff is going to be different, you know, off rip. Explain how everything start. It start off great, and then slowly but surely, you see the real. <laughs> that's what it be. That's that's really what it be. Like one of my ex boot things. One of our big problems was communication. So, you know, we reconnected maybe a month or two ago. And it was cool. You know, he was texting, all that whoop de woo. And then just disappeared. Just disappeared. And I'm like, see, this is oh hell. Oh hell. Oh Lord. I'll get that out of there later. But it's like, if I put more water, it'll slide up to the top. I lose me. Oh, it is sunk to the bottom. It's the thing that holds the, the lid, you know, like the rubber piece. So before y'all be like, oh, he got some, before y'all say anything crazy. But, excuse me. But like I said, he just he went ghost, and it was like this was the problem that we had before. So you're doing the same thing, 
Same different toilet. Literally. Literally. Let's see if y'all can get into that pink. Oh. Get into that. Get into that. Oh my god, that looks so good. And it just be like I don't I don't even be mad at them. I really be mad at myself. Because like you set yourself up for that. I need to stop telling myself like when I have like right now, let me be honest. Right now, would a relationship be ideal? Yes. Yes. Do I necessarily want one right now? No. Because I don't think I'm in the right headspace for one. I don't. I was. But then I was reminded why I be putting stuff on pause. Why I don't be dealing with these dudes. Like, so, right now, I don't think so. But I do have those random moments. Whether it be late night, early morning, whatever the case may be, where I be like, damn, I feel lonely right now. And then I have to tell myself, just because you're alone does not mean you're lonely. But I don't feel that way all the time. And I need to. I need to. Because it's going to stop like... It's gonna stop me from repeating that cycle. I have one ex. Well, let me say this out. Sometimes I'll be saying ex is not like we weren't never really in a relationship per se, but we were heavily dating. Oh, I heard that. But. We all probably like try. Damn, how many extra you got? <laughs> Too many. But I have one. I've tried. Like we've reconnected a plethora of times, and we always say, "Oh, this time is gonna be different. This time is gonna be different. This time is gonna be different." And then it'd be the same damn thing. Same thing. So now I'm at that point where, like, the definition of insanity, excuse me, and not verbatim, but definition of insanity is doing the same thing, expecting a damn difference. But it was all still going to be the same. And I, I have to, I have to keep that in the back of my head. Sometimes I just really be hopeful. And I be believing in giving people another chance because I know there's a lot of times like, well, there's a lot of people that took chances on me. Like gave me multiple chances. And I don't even just mean a relationship. I mean friendship. I mean uh, whatever the case may be. So, I guess so, Barbara, this person gave me another chance when they shouldn't have. Who am I to not give this person a chance? You know? But then they ended up getting shitted on again. It ain't fun. But I do put myself in that predicament by making myself feel like I miss them just because I don't want to. But it's like, who want to take the time to. I don't want, I'm so tired of learning new people. Like, I'm so tired of it. I'm so tired of having to, you know, ask you what's your favorite color or what's your favorite movie. I get tired of having to learn what ticks you off and what, like, oh. Because I've did it too many times. <laughs> I've did it too many damn times. 
And again, that don't mean I dated all these people. Look at this piece. I feel like the light is messing me up. But I do be giving people chances. I, I give people chances that I shouldn't. I think that's why I drain myself. Sometimes I see a red flag. But by the way, everybody's not the same. But then they be doing something that remind me of somebody that did what they did and then but then it's like you you self sabotage and that's what I be telling myself. But then in the end, it'd be exactly what I thought it was. So I really be battling between knowing if I'm self-sabotaging or if I see those signs and I'm just choosing to overlook them because of what I want them to be as opposed to what they really are. I don't be knowing. I really don't be knowing. But that's why I know where I be at. <laughs> Mm -mm. Especially with one of my exes, y'all. I saw some signs. His friends told me some signs. <laughs> my friends told me some signs. Like, <laughs> but I just I felt like. I'm supposed to be the one that don't give up on him. I'm supposed to be that one. Ain't that how we always end up with our heart broken? <laughs> mm -hmm. Boom for like, okay. I can fix that. I can change that. Oh, he didn't used to text you back? Oh, well, he texts me all the time. It's gonna stay that way. Oh, he had a nasty attitude, he had a smart mouth. Oh, he ain't gonna do that with me. You think you're gonna be different because they put up this facade and this front that they are different, but that's only because they're trying to get the job. Trying to get the job, but once they got the job and they're comfortable with the job and they're comfortable with the pay, they don't give a damn no more, you know? Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. I'm gonna keep showing you that because I'm I'll be proud. I'm not making me a good state. I'll be real proud. But yeah, like and with that one, child. Yeah, I was a fool. I was a fool. I was a fool. Powerful. What do y'all think for the single people? What do y'all like when y'all have those moments? Well, if y'all have those moments where you find yourself feeling lonely or something, what do you do to cope with that? Like, what do you do to shake that feeling? Because it's not all the time. I don't always get that feeling. But baby, when I do, it hit me like a wrecking ball. And I just be all in my feels. <clears throat> Excuse me. So then I, I make dumb decisions like hitting up an ex. And even giving them the satisfaction of thinking I miss them. When I really don't, I just be, excuse me, I just be caught up in a moment. I'd be, I'd be saying stuff. And then because my my vision is blurred at that time, I didn't believe it. And then I don't really be caring about why we ended in the first place. I just be caring about what we finna do moving forward.
And then they literally do the same exact damn thing. Like saying this out loud is making it much easier for me to deal with. Everybody see how stupid I've been? You know? But I like I gotta I gotta stick with it. Like like yeah, I'm saying it now, but cause I'm not in that feeling where I feel lonely. But what is it gonna be when I have that moment. I don't know. And I think that's what scares me. What also scares me is the fact I'm getting full right now. Cause it sticks so good. Get that out the way. Slide it that way, slide it that way. Like so good, I, I don't wanna be done. Me out in the comments, y'all. Help a brother out. Mm -hmm. There's really only one ex, one who I've reconnected with, and stuff is going away that. Or has went away that didn't turn me off. It won't turn me off. Like, that's my person type. I've told y'all about him. I don't know if we'll ever, like, be together again for real, for real. But he always gonna be right here. You know what I'm saying? But all them other ones... I hate them. Oh, I don't mean that. I don't mean that. Do I? No, I don't know. Maybe. I do hate one for sure. I'm I, I, yeah, I do hate one for sure. Maybe just one. Maybe just one. I definitely hate him. I hate him. Yeah, like, I really hate him, actually. Like, he could get a paper cut, and I would squirt lemon juice on it. Like, that's how much I hate him. Like, I want him to, like, yeah, I hate him. Like, y'all know how Kate Michelle wrote Anybody Wanna Buy a Heart album about Idris Elba? I could do the same for him. Like, he put me through so much. I could write a whole album about the man. And I would definitely make a song like she did about Cry, where you gonna pay me in tears. I want you to hurt. I want you to hurt. I don't wish him well. I don't. I don't wish him well. I don't want the best for him. I'm not even gonna lie. Y'all might say that's childish, that's petty. Y'all might say it's a whole bunch of things. And I might also respond saying I don't give a damn. Because I mean it. I don't. I don't. I want him to, yeah, no. Mm -mm. I want it to rain on every parade that he walk in. All that. All that. I don't like him. Can't stand him. Whatever. Yeah. <laughs> and I'm, I really mean that. Like, no jokes. I mean that. From the bottom, from the pits of my heart. From the bottom of my heart. From the bottom of hell. I do not wish him well. Actually, he can go down to hell for all I care. But with that being said, I promise I'm gonna stay away from my exes, with the exception of one. Um, but other than that, I'm gonna go ahead and sign out because I'm full. And the more I look at this thing, the more I want to eat. I just wish I could just—it's like a Flintstone dinosaur steak or something. Um, 
So yeah, y'all know what to do if you haven't already gone subscribe to the channel, but there you waiting on. Click the red button right there, bam, hit the bell right there, bam, so you can be notified each time I drop a new video, but if you don't need to go there, trap, jump into the description box, it's gonna be right down there. Scroll down to the bottom of the description box, not the bottom of the page. Bottom of the description box, brr, boom, right there, you're gonna see me social media, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, threads, all that. And follow me. Leave me a comment. 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 Leave me